All right, we're gonna do a quick once around, show you the whole mantis, see what it's all about. Um, this is the back, the first uh, kind of stabilizing jack. Front door, cool. Um, it's got a 12 volt outlet right down there for um, anything you really want to plug in. There's an awning that has lights that has a 12 volt outlet uh, connector, so that's kind of what I use it for right now. Step that comes out, make sure that goes back up when you're towing the vehicle. Uh, let's move around here to the front. Here are connections and here are propane tanks. Um, these are open real easily. You twist it a couple times, they kind of pull up and then down. Same one on this side. Twist it, pull up and down. Opens up. Um, in here you've got you've got your switch to kind of transfer it per tank um, right there. So whichever way it's pointing is which tank it's on. So right now it's on the left tank. And then obviously, just like any other propane tank, open it up when you want to use it. Um, and then go ahead and close it back up. If for whatever reason you need to actually get into it, it comes off um, by just a, there's a bungee right down here that you unattach and it slides right off. Um, that's kind of all there is there on that. Stabilizing jack. Um, here's the trailer brake controller. Um, it's it's set up already, but there, you can always recalibrate it if you need to. Um, coming around to here, here is where the um, cassette toilet uh, is stationed. I guess it's set up. I guess it'd be helpful if I had my keys on me. All right, this is where the cassette toilet's set up. It's the only one that's got the um, a little bit different key. So we can open it up. It's right in here. Um, this easily kind of pops out. It slides out and then you can, um, you go and you can empty um, all the black water that you've got. Um, it slides back in into place um, and then we fill it up and here's your here's your here's where we'll show how much water you've got in it so it'll be nice and full close that back up um, come around more you've got your um, your your hot air exhaust from the thermos this is your potable water for if you've got um, hookups at the campsite put it right in there Here's your um, electrical connection, and there's also a dongle, so you can just plug into 110 volt or 110 watt, no problem. Right here, here's a outdoor shower. Um, I've got connections for it as well, so hot and cold water. Uh, coming back down, here is a here is the solar panel plug. Um, I've got 200 watt panel that already has the adapter hooked up, and all you do is plug it right in and it's good to go. Um, also if you're plugged into shore power this is your what you're gonna want to do is here's your AC unit and so you have to um, you have to open that up and it slides out for the inside in order to use it properly so we'll just leave that open for now and uh, when we get inside we'll show how it slides out and then finally here's your um, if you're dry camping uh, this is where you just fill up normal water for a 20 gallon freshwater tank um, and on the other underside um, here's your gray water tank drain super easy just pull out and it drains whoops got a little bit of gray water still in there um, and then same thing for the freshwater drain um, it's right there same kind of thing twists and it drains um, coming around to the back uh, it'll come with a 20 gallon or a five gallon fresh water tank just for you know whatever else you need uh, we got kind of some steps that lead up to the roof if you want to get up on the roof and then there can be toolie racks installed up there for um, kind of whatever else you need and then this is just a also like a big hatch for the back so you can get in that way 
you don't want to use the normal door. And then spare tire. Um, that's kind of all we've got for the outside. And uh, we'll get in here in a minute.